Hey, how are you doing? I'm Odin. And I'm Yvette. And welcome to Amsterdam Clog Vlog. Your local's guide to the city. This episode is all about Open Tower Day. But before we start, please remember to subscribe to our channel or join us on Instagram and Facebook. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Let's go! You can recognize every skyline by its distinctive features. For a city like Amsterdam, towers are a huge part of that. Whether old or new, large or small, they are all part of the city. A large part of these towers are off limits for people like you and I, except for one day of the year. Open Tower Day started in 2013 to give people the opportunity to visit and climb these towers all over the city. The occasion has gained lots of popularity in the years. On Saturday, March the 21st, 2020, you can enjoy the skyline in a special way once again. Every year the collection of towers changes, so no year will be the same. We've been doing this for a few years now, and one of the towers we visited in a previous edition was the old church in the center of Amsterdam. It was one of the towers you had to stand in line beforehand at the base of the tower to get your ticket. At this occasion, a guide escorted us up, giving us information about the oldest standing building in Amsterdam. The origin of this church date back to 1280. Fortunately, the city fires of 1421 and 1452 left the church unarmed. Quite nice to see the inside of the bell tower and have a chance to ring the bells. Fun fact is that the square around the church used to be a graveyard. You can visit the Adam Tower on this day with a 5 euro discount for a great view of the city. On the other hand, or rather on the other side of the river, you can visit the Silver Tower at the 11th floor. The real name of this building is actually the Wagon Litz Office Building and it's located directly next to Central Station. Designed by renowned Bentham Crowell architects responsible for, for instance, the Anne Frank House extension, Central Station Rotterdam and the Stedelijk Museum. It was completed in 1992 and designed to reflect the surrounding sky, so the 55 meter high tower wouldn't be too dominant. One of its features is that it gives you a 360 degree view of the skyline. This tower is walk-in. You can't get any closer to the center than the Bijkorf. Situated right at Dam Square, it too has a tower you can visit. For this one, you have to register online in advance. Just a small distance from Central Station is the Posthorn Kerk. 
designed by the famous Pierre Kuipers, who also designed Central Station and the Rijksmuseum. Finished in 1889, it served its function till 1963. It became a national monument in 1972, despite plans to demolish it in 1987. From around that year, the church functions as a space for exhibitions, sample sales, events and concerts. Its arch-filled basement is quite impressive. For this one, you also have to register online in advance. Situated a few kilometers outside the city center is the Lloyd Hotel. The building was completed in 1921 for the Royal Dutch Lloyd. The building cost a whopping eight times more to build and was rumored to be the start of the downfall for this company. From 1938 it was used as a shelter for Jewish people. Ironically, it was used as a prison during the German occupations of the Netherlands. Now it's a hotel. It has a small tower that is walk-in and overlooking the river. You can find quite a lot about the history of the building inside. The cafe on the ground floor comes in handy on a busy day like this. The Gerben Wagenaar Tower from 1965 is built on top of a bridge in the north of Amsterdam. Just a small stroll from the river and a ferry to Central Station. It was designed as a guardhouse for the bridge keepers. Nowadays that is done remotely, so Sweets Hotel made it into a mini hotel you can sleep in. Throw from the Munt Tower and the Flower Market is the Colfer Tower. This location is walk-in. This 35 meter tower sits in the middle of a small shopping mall. You can see Rembrandt Square and the rare side of the famous Munt Tower. Its 360 degree view overlooking the city is impressive. For the blue cafe at the top, it's quite a bonus knowing that you and I can visit seven days a week all year long. A few kilometers from the city center sits the Olympic Stadium. Built for the 1928 Amsterdam Olympic Games, it comes with the Marathon Tower. This was the first tower ever where the Olympic flame was lit. The slim 48 meter tower even comes with an inside staircase to the top. Nowadays the Olympic Stadium is still in use for various events. For this one you also have to register online in advance. Open Tower Day 2020 will be on Saturday, March the 21st and starts at 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Some towers even give a bell concert to close the day. For more information visit opentowerday.com We conclude this episode at the Bijenkorf with a nice drink. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you do so, remember to subscribe or follow us on Instagram or Facebook. We'll leave you with an impression of the city. Until next time, cheers.